Real actors, 3D worlds, and a whole lot of smart people with big brains and new tech. Movies will never be the same again. Or TV shows, or, or series, Netflix, anything to do with production. It's all gonna change. It's all because of one thing. Virtual production. So if you're like what I was a month ago, you're probably wondering, what is virtual production? Don't worry, I got you covered. Now I'm not the resident expert, but I can teach you what virtual production is. And I can answer, what is virtual production? And why is it such a big deal? So this beast of virtual production has like so many floating definitions. It's because it's so new. It's like the wild west. Here at Copilot, we sum it up like this. Virtual production is filming live action, now that's real actors, on a real set, typically a soundstage, surrounded by LED panels that display an interactive background. Now that's a lot to take in, but here's why it's such a big deal. So this background, or LED volume as they call it, can be manipulated and tweaked and recolored at any time during production. Now these tweaks, they include things like adding a pop of color or adding extra light or keying a subject. You can just do it by pressing a few buttons. Imagine how long that takes on a normal set. You gotta get a gap or you gotta get the right lights. You gotta get the color set. The cinematographer's gotta say, oh, it's perfect. Yes, I love it. Meanwhile, in virtual, you just press a few buttons. You just change some nodes and some toggles, maybe some color, and you're ready to go. Now this is the big one. You, you don't like the way the mountain looks in the background? See, before we'd have to go to a different country or we'd have to do another location scout. Here in virtual, you can just move the mountain. And these examples just get better and better. Just think about it this way. If a Marvel movie has to do all of this rotoscoping, green screen, keying, it takes so many people, teams of people, just to do every little compositing compartment. You gotta make the background, you gotta add in little foreground elements, you gotta add in all this other stuff. But in virtual, it's just there already. Or if it's not there, you can move it there. And beyond that, the actor is already in the scenario or in the scene. You don't need to imagine it. They're not looking at green screen thinking to themselves, oh, that's a mountain. No, no, it's a mountain. So how does all of this work? Well, I'm no master, but I can break it down into three easy to understand components. Tech virtual environment, and physical assets. These three pillars hold virtual production. Let's dive in. First, let's talk tech. Now, the volume is the world that you're actually shooting in. It's, it's displayed on the LED panels. Now, it's built in a world-building software like Unreal Engine or something else, and that acts as the actual movable, customizable, environment that we're actually shooting on. Now, in order to run something like this, you need a mega PC or a couple of them. And you need pros who can color and tweak and, and change the environment live on set. And yeah, I understand that this is super high level, just base layer stuff, but we're just explaining what this is. And lastly, the motion tracking systems allow a real camera to shoot on the volume so you get those realistic camera movements, you get that real parallax, and the background shifts as the camera shifts, just like in real life. Now let's talk virtual environment. This is the actual world itself, custom built. And before production, it's set up with lighting setups or, or certain variables that you can move. That mountain that I was talking about before, a rock over here or there. You can change the time of day, you can change color temperature, anything you want you got it built in. By the way, these genius people tweaking and coloring and changing all the things live, it's called the brain bar. Just a little bit of virtual trivia for you. And finally, what wraps all this trifecta together is the real stuff, the physical assets, the things that are actually really there that sell the scene. Now, this is classic movie stuff, you know, set deck, you've got some foreground elements, you got dirt on the ground, basically things that are trying to hide the seam. Now what does that mean? That's actually the real seam between the floor and the wall because if this wall is virtual and this is real, we need to hide this somehow so you can't tell the difference. Big old rocks that actors can really sit on. These are props. These are things that they're even wearing that just fit and reflect the lights so that you can't tell that it's not real. It's just everything that brings a little bit of texture into your scene. Now you throw all this together and you get a final shot 
of real actors on a virtual set with real props blending the real world and the virtual world into one mixed reality. Now, I get it. It's confusing and this is new and there's so many things to cover in the topic of virtual production. But we here at Copilot are trying to stay on that pulse, trying to stay up to date and deliver those updates to you, the viewer. Because realistically, we're still trying to figure out this virtual thing and so is everyone else in virtual production. Even Star Wars doesn't really know the proper workflow, the best way to do things yet. It's the Wild West. As updates come out, we'll be updating our workflows and updating our videos so there'll be more content as things happen. If you guys are excited for that, please subscribe to this channel. This is Josh. You've been watching Copilot, and I'll see you in the next one.